shutdown system had a fatal flaw. At 1.23.40, Akimov engages AZ-5. The fully withdrawn control rods begin moving back into the reactor. These rods are made of boron, which reduces reactivity, but not the tips. The tips are made of graphite, which accelerates reactivity. Why? Why? For the same reason our reactors do not have containment buildings around them, like those in the West. For the same reason we don't use properly enriched fuel in our cores. For the same reason, we are the only nation that builds water-cooled graphite-moderated reactors with a positive void coefficient. It's cheaper. <clears throat> the first part of the rods that enter the core are the graphite tips, and when they do, the reaction in the core, which had been rising, skyrockets. Every last molecule of liquid water instantly converts to steam, which expands and ruptures a series of fuel rod channels. The control rods in those channels can move no further. The graphite tips are fixed in position, endlessly accelerating the reaction. Chernobyl reactor 4 is now a nuclear bomb. 12342. Perovostchenko looks down on the enormous steel lid of the reactor and sees the impossible. The control rod and fuel channel caps, which each weigh 350 kilograms, are jumping up and down. He runs to warn the control room, but there's nothing he can do to stop what is coming. 1.23 and 44 seconds. The steam blows more fuel channels apart. We do not know how high the power went. We only know the final reading. Reactor 4, designed to operate at 3,200 megawatts, went beyond 33,000. The pressure inside the core would no longer be held up. At long last, we have arrived. 123.45, explosion. In the instant the lid is thrown off the reactor, oxygen rushes in. It combines with hydrogen and superheated graphite. The chain of disaster is now complete.